是吧？ Okay, so again, please excuse. It's not that messy, but I have to do a little tidying up. Look, there's, oh, God, there's so many spider webs. Jeez. These are little things that <laughs> sometimes boys don't notice. I guess he was just too busy, but I'll clean that. No problem. He put a little witch up here. Hee <laughs> hee. Love it. Okay. But anyway, let's get to the details. So those of you who saw my old video, you know that that kitchen over there was like, shoop, shoop, like a little box. He opened the whole thing up. You see? Oh, that's gonna go, ew, no, that's gonna go. But for now, it's okay, it's okay. And he made it into this huge freaking. now we have three kitchens, outdoor kitchen, and he knows I love to make cocktails and little mixed drinks. So, he made me a bar. I mean, ah, uh, come on. So I have to get now, uh-uh, I have to I have to get so many supplies, I'm so excited. And here the bar continues. I'm gonna see how I'm gonna decorate this, but this is gonna be all decked out with like, uh, with so many things. I don't even know yet with what yet, but I'll think of it. This is actually where we used to hold our wood. So again, those who've seen, those of you who have seen my other video, sorry, I'm talking so fast, I'm just too excited. <sighs> This kitchen was like up to here, and then this was this extra space where we kept the firewood. <laughs> yep, you can see exactly how we used to keep the firewood. It was actually pretty organized in my opinion, but it does look a lot better now that we have this whole kitchen and the firewood on the side. Now what you're seeing here is the house as my boyfriend inherited it. The firewood was totally outdoors, which is not fun in the winter when it's freezing and at night you hear wolves and jackals howling. And on top of that, there are snakes over the summer and one of their favorite places to hide was, yes, the firewood. So I would always go and get the firewood because I'm not scared of snakes, but no one else would want to touch it. So we're much happier with the firewood this way. Oh, look, he put stuff on the wall. Yes, I don't usually want actually no he decorates really well so i'm not afraid of him decorating but i actually had bought these a year ago and i hid them i hid them so that he can't find them because i was so afraid he's gonna put them in the wrong spot and when i was in america i got a call and he's like where are your leaves i told him i'm not gonna tell you because you're gonna put them somewhere weird and he found them and when i found out he found them i was mortified because i thought he was gonna do something that i'm not gonna like but i have to say it's perfect. I'm going to keep collecting. They're, they're actually, believe it or not, pretty expensive. So I'm, I can't really buy them all at once, but little by little, I'm going to collect them. Oh, this is his, this is one of the first renovations that he did <sighs> in this other house, his dad's house. Right. I am very excited to show you this. This is his mechana in another house that he renovated, again, inherited by his dad. And so I think you can tell my boyfriend really loves getting together, having people over. And he is a big, in Bulgarian, we call dumushar, which means someone who really just loves to take care of his home. What he did here, he did when he was pretty little. He was... I actually think he was early 20s or teens when he renovated this. Otherwise, before that, there was nothing there. It was just like a garage. There was no sink, no heating, nothing. So yes, we love to gather here. And for any Bulgarians out there, Bozdravi, I think you know what I'm talking about. I think we all love our mechani. If someone doesn't have a mechana in their house, they're usually eating out at mechani. That's like our version of traditional restaurants. And like I wrote earlier, the more you stuff in there, the more antiques in there, the warmer and cozier. Beautiful. So all of this, I'm planning to wind up with those leaves, all of this, all of this, and we'll see how we're gonna go in that direction. We purposely kept the wood light here. Um, I like the dark wood, but he's saying he wants it light. So I'm not gonna argue with him because let him have what he likes as well, right? Not just all for, meaning not all just what I like. When we put the leaves, I think it's going to turn beautiful. We can't put real leaves. Too hard to maintain, but... Oh, and here is my little Pichu and Panda. I got them from Pazajik. 
this little town in Bulgaria. Oh, so many spider webs I have to clean. <laughs> but this is made out of a uh, carpuza in Bulgaria. How do you say it in English? Like, um, <laughs> I'm blanking. Gourd. A gourd. And then this is all hand sewn and created and stuffed by this woman who sells them on the street. And honestly, I think she undervalues her work. She could sell them for a lot more than she does. I think they're beautiful. But Pishu and Penda are two traditional Bulgarian characters. We have them in a lot of our Martinichki, which is this holiday on March 1st. Here, he bought these a really long time ago. They're actually, I think they're actually, no, I don't know if they're book stoppers, but look what he decided to do. Love it. Love it. He kept the old rock work that his mom and dad did. He wanted to get rid of them, but we insisted that he keeps them. Uh, this is going to have to go. No, no. And I'm going to get a shoe rack. These shoes like this, mm -mm. it's not going to work. Again, I'm just too excited. I really wanted to clean and I wanted to have it all planned out before I filmed this for you guys. But I'm like, you know what? Why don't you see it a la natural? Exactly how I discovered it. Oh, and here is where we keep our wood now. Again, this is going to be rearranged and fixed. He painted the wall, but I'm in my bathrobe and I hear people out there. So I'm going to actually film the wall on the outside after because, again, for those of you who've watched my other video, it looked very industrial. It looked like a jail, like it was this concrete wall with that barbed wire on the top. Now it's this beautiful white wall. You hardly see the barbed wire. The barbed wire, I used to get, I've been getting questions on it. It's there because we, um, uh, we've we been having a lot of people crossing the border and mm, we've heard some not the best stories. So we put it there to be intimidating on purpose so that people refrain from entering. Zdrave! Oh, we saw someone. Sorry guys, that was this lovely lady that lives Right down there, a few houses down, hoop, hoop, that way. So, okay, where were we up to? Oh, yes, so, yeah, we've been, there were a couple of incidences where uh, those people that were crossing the borders did not, anyway, it's a long story, but it's just, we wanted kind of to feel safer, and not that the village isn't safe, just, let's call it a temporary thing until things settle down. Um, okay, this, my boyfriend's mom is definitely responsible for this beautiful garden yeah my boyfriend does love gardens and nature though so i'm not going to be surprised if a lot of it is him this is him he knows honestly he knows that i really wanted this little tree we both planted one each of those but sadly actually i think it was yeah his died his died look mine survived that was mine but in its place he got the tree that i really love Here's just a little peek at us planting. Somehow this turned into a memory that I don't think I'm ever going to forget. He just woke me up in the morning one day and said, let's plant these trees. And it just kind of is, I guess, a memory for my whole life. Excited. Okay, let's go in the garden. Has a lot more work to do, of course. I'm sure you can tell. And you know what? They already saw me in my bathrobe. Who cares? Let me show you what he did on the outside. Ready, ready. Again, for those of you who know, who've seen my other video, you'll know the difference. And the fence over there so that we can kind of see outside and people can see in because, you know, we want it to be private, but it doesn't have to be that private. Oh, I'm just so happy. Oh, for those of you who haven't seen my other videos, this is a Chivarmajinitsa. Those who have, you know that we love our Chivarme, which is roasted lamb on a spit. We actually have a little mechanical machine now. We used to do it by hand, but let me show you. Twist this machine. You put a rod, like a big stick. I don't know where the stick is. When, I, when we do another one, I'll film it and show you guys. And you can roast lamb, pork, pig, you know, whatever you want. Chicken. Yeah. And we do that mainly on holidays. I think we're going to have a big holiday soon because we have to celebrate this. Here we go again. Mm. 
And yes, Chivermetta happen everywhere and every how and every place and every way. It's just uh, not a celebration if there's no Chiverme. Yeah. Oh, yes, we got this beautiful, ginormous TV. Yes, yes, yes. We have internet. We used to not have internet on the farm, so it's a big deal now that we have internet. This I didn't point out because this is actually, it's been here for like a year now. But let me point it out for, for those of you who haven't seen. We bought this from a grandma that lived in another village. She sold it to us for a very good price. And we're like, you know what? Only regret is I wanted to get the other chair. My boyfriend's like, no, what's the point? And now I really regret it. I have to go see if she actually has the other chair. Oh, this. My, uh, my boyfriend's mom arranged this beautiful tree. And these are... He has an obsession with minerals. Um, this is from my grandma. It's hand stitched. Um, yeah, he has an obsession with minerals. Oh, here is the stick, guys, for the chivarme. Ooh, they did a chivarme without me. I see the leftovers. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Okay, um, that's a fishing net, but we use it as decoration now. Ndaka, let's go. Now let me show you what he did upstairs. All right, so I'm gonna save upstairs for the next video because this one just got a little bit longer than I expected as it does often. I really, really hope you guys like what we built and if you have any suggestions, please keep sending them. We actually listen to your suggestions and we add them. So you guys have experience that I probably don't. So thank you guys very much for all the suggestions for watching and I really hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time.